Now, let's solve for the measure central tendency of grouped frequency distribution table. So, for a grouped frequency distribution table, we have this. So, we have classes and its corresponding frequency. So, what do you mean by classes? These are 60 to 64, 65 to 69, according to our problem. Now, normally, what we will do first is we actually get the midpoint. So, I hope you know where I got the midpoint. That is just the average of 60 plus 64 divided by 2. The center of 60 and the center of 64. You can also use the class boundaries to get the midpoint. The upper and the lower class boundaries. Or you can just use this one. The upper bound and the lower bound. 60 plus 64 divided by 2. So you have here 62, 67, their center, their middle number. Right? And then you multiply the midpoint with the frequency. And you drag it down. And then the next step is you sum the frequencies and then you sum the product of the midpoint and the frequencies. Now to get the mean, all you have to do is divide the product, divide it with the total number of frequency and that is our mean or the average of this grouped frequency distribution table. Now, how about the median? So, for the median, um, we follow this formula. So, we have this one. Uh, the first step is look for the center. We have 60 total number of elements. I'll just divide that by 2. I have here 30. So, 30 is somewhere here. If you add this to 2 plus 15 plus 25, Somewhere here, here, is the 30th number, or what we call the center. So, we will use these values, 70 and 74. 70 and 74. So, for that, let's get first the lower class boundaries. What is the lower class boundaries? You get the lower value, which is 70. Diba 70 and 74, you get the 70. And you subtract it with 0 0.5. Now, to know why I subtract it with a 0 0.5, you can refer to the making of a frequency distribution table video. So, here we have the lower class boundary, which is 69.5. The n divided by 2 is simply this one, 60 divided by 2. The frequencies below the n divided by 2 is just the sum, the sum of 15 and 2. So we have it, this one. The next one is the class interval or the class width, C. To know C, all you have to do is check this one. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Again, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So they are... They have five. They have five class interval, or what we call class width. So, this is five. Now, the frequency of 70 and 74 is just simply 25. Let's compute for the median. We follow this formula. Now, I'll just use parentheses because I think Excel will read brackets differently. So, let's follow that formula. L, we add it to N minus F parentheses divided by FM parentheses multiplied to C which is 5 and that is our median. The next one is the modal class. So this is actually very easy. You just look for the one who has the highest frequency, which is 25. So this is directly our modal class. Okay, so this is how we solve um, the measure of central tendency of a frequency distribution table. I hope this is 